In this example video, I am going to show you how the Scheil Gulliver calculation can be performed in MatCalc. The results of this kind of calculation provide you with the information about the amount and composition of the primary precipitates, which might appear during the solidification of your material. Create new workspace by clicking on New in the File menu. Alternatively, you can click on a relevant icon. Select MatCalc workspace on the drop-down list and click on OK button. Click on the global menu and then on databases to select the elements and phases present in this simulation. In this example we will calculate an aluminum alloy, so select MCAL database and open it. In the elements list select iron, magnesium, manganese and silicon. In the phases list select the phases FCCA1, liquid, magnesium 2 silicon B and silicon diamond A4. Additionally, select the aluminum chromium iron manganese silicon A and aluminum iron silicon T6 phases. These refer to the cubic alpha aluminum iron manganese silicon and beta aluminum iron silicon 5 intermetallic compounds respectively. Afterwards, click on Read and Close. Click on the global menu and then on Composition to set the alloy composition. In the nominal composition window, select weight percent on the bottom. Next, set the following element contents. 0.3 for iron, 0.7 for magnesium, 0.5 for manganese and 0.8 for silicon. When done, click on OK button. Click on Set Start Values in Calc menu in order to initialize the system numerics. Afterwards, perform a stepped equilibrium calculation. In order to do so, click on Stepped Calculation in Calc menu. The default settings will perform a calculation in the range between 25 degrees C and 700 degrees C with a step of 25 degrees C. Click on Go button to perform the calculation. In order to evaluate the stepped equilibrium calculation results, plot the phase fraction as a function of temperature. In the View menu, click on Create New Window and change the view to the User Defined tab. Select the third record which defines the phase fractions expressed on a logarithmic scale over the temperature and click on OK button. On the created plot, five curves can be identified. These describe the phase fractions of the liquid FCCA1, silicon, alpha intermetallics and magnesium 2 silicon. The missing curve of the beta intermetallics indicates that this phase is not an equilibrium one. Now set up the Scheil Gulliver calculation by clicking on Scheil calculation in Calc menu. In the appearing Scheil calculation window, the parameters in the temperature control field define the boundary conditions for the calculations. The default settings would perform the calculation in the range between 1000 degrees C and 1550 degrees C. However, this is too high for the system in this example, as it is still liquid at 700 degrees C, which was demonstrated with the stepped equilibrium calculation. Set 700 as the start value and 500 as the stop value. The DT value of 1 indicates the value calculation step, which will be also used in this calculation. The minimum liquid fraction value of 0 0.01 will stop the calculation whenever the phase fraction of the liquid phase drops below this value, even if the system temperature will be above the stop value. To perform the calculation, click on Go button. A window appears which informs that five additional phases needs to be created. Confirm this with clicking on Yes button. The calculation results will appear in the MatCal console window. It contains the information about the phase fraction of the liquid phase and the solid phases forming exactly at the given temperature. The calculation quits at 558 degrees C, as the liquid fraction drops to zero, indicating the complete solidification of the system. Moreover, the content of the phase fraction plot was also changed. The phase fraction curves show now the amounts of the phases solidifying at the given temperature. It can be noticed at this point that the beta intermetallic phase is also expected to form during the solidification, even though it is not an equilibrium phase. 
it might be more informative to follow the cumulative fractions of the solidified faces. In the variables window, click on the white triangle in the face fractions line and next on the triangle in the F$ dollar star line. Then select all faces with the underscore S suffix. These are the last five faces in the list. In order to select multiple faces, keep the control key pressed during the selection. Now with your left mouse button being pressed, move the pointer on the diagram area and release the mouse button there. With this operation, you will plot the cumulative fractions of the solidified faces. You may notice that the face fraction of the beta intermetallics in the solidified system equals roughly the one of the magnesium 2 silicon phase, which is an equilibrium phase. You can learn more about how to work with matcalc operations by viewing other example videos. Thanks for watching.